Derek uh, Parker, congratulations on your new position. Uh, thanks very much, Mick. Thank you. How's it feel? It feels good. It feels good. Um, yeah, it's great. So, you know, it's both an honour and a privilege to, to, not to be the manager of, of the community radio station. A station that means so much to not the people in Yall and, and the surrounds. So um, I'm very pleased. Uh, Dara, uh, have you any new plans for the station? Well, well, we started back in back in January with, with a new extended schedule. Um, so we're not around here 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days a week. Um, I suppose that, that um, missing ingredient we felt in our, in our programming was the, the morning, early morning sl- uh, slot um, on you know, Monday to Friday. So now we're, now we're on the air you know, from 8 o'clock. Um, so was, it, was there a demand for that? Yeah, or? we felt that was the missing, missing ingredient in, in our programming. It, no, that, it's, it's probably pr- it's prime time as people, when, when people tune the most. And being, on, being off the air until 12 o'clock in the day was something that we know we were losing out listeners, lo- losing out on potential people, you know, people that were hoping to tune in and looking for the local radio service. It's fantastic, but I'd imagine there's a lot more uh, work involved. Yeah, a bit, a bit more work. Um, but again, the structure's in place. We have, we have the facilities. We have now this, this fantastic studio here since 2013. So, I mean, that enables us to not to provide long, longer hours, more there's room for more volunteers, you know, more programmes, more, more area, you know, more... more um, space in the second studio to, rec- to record programs more training so again we're, we're a bigger better outfit because of because of our new, new premises and um that would know, again it would allow us to grow even further and uh, what's the long-term plan would be to go 24 7 and uh, so we'd have, we'd have a station that's always on and again serving the people always uh, Dari, you provide a wonderful service here and media and, uh, and radio station. But um, I've, I've noticed there was an award ceremony going on here. There seems to be a lot more uh, stuff going on behind the scenes as well, connected with the radio. We, we are a recognised training, training provider. We, we recently, we recently um, ran um, a ten, again, a 10 week course in conjunction with, with the CFI, the Community, the Community Foundation um, of Ireland. Um, there was a aim that over 55s and we taught them how to, how to again make a radio program. They made two two great programs with a gang of eleven in total. You know, and they're, they're, they got their starts earlier. So again, we, we provide training courses. We, we work with other radio stations. Um, people 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 can come in off the streets, learn how to do a program. Um, you know, use, use use the sound equipment, do the desk you know, with a bit of training. It's not seven or eight weeks training program that we give them. Um, you know, we, we we work closely with with, with the public school. Um, Every year we deliver a class to, to the transition year students. We're in the middle of, of um, f- uh, recording a documentary on, on the coastal erosion. Um, it, it basically, it's called Washed Way, and it's, it's looking at the um, collapse of the seawall a few years ago and also the, the structure of the boardwalk. Um, so it's, kind of, it's bringing kind of a global problem to a, a local level, you know, so that, that's quite an exciting project we have at the moment as well. And speaking of, of global, uh, Nara, now with social media, the internet, you're out, you're out there as well, people are listening to you from abroad as well, I gather. Yeah, I mean, you, we, have, we have an online streaming service and uh, you know, there's people t- tuning into us from all over the place, from Hong Kong, Dubai, Holland, um, and um, it's great that, that now people that you know, are associated with all expats and, and so on can, can tune in and, and, and hear us from around the world. As you're saying, you're saying in the years gone by, was uh, for all, all our overseas listeners, was never swept. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And um, no, and you actually see, see the presenters there sometimes looking at the maps, and they're they're chuffed that they, they can be heard in Dubai and Australia and, and, and so on. You know, so so that is great. And you know, technology has, has really meant that we can offer a you know, greater service, and also our, our, through our Facebook page and website. You know, we, we you know we try to bring the kind of a what's a full communications service. Uh, to the people, if, if they can listen to us you know, through the normal radio service, they can tune in online. They can look, check out our Facebook page, go on the website, catch up with local news, programs, podcasts. So, uh, technology has really changed what's the way we work as well. And I, I, it, there seems to be a great media service all around uh, in in Yall. Um, yeah, again, with, with the radios, the papers, and yeah, with, with, again with, with yourself, you all, you all, you all online, you, you all newsies, Cork Journal, and no, we, 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 we are you know, people that was are spoiled for choice in, 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 in what they, what they can get. But look, community community news and community me- media is, is is growing and it's, it's it's becoming more and more important. You know, because again, there's so much out there, pe- people can just. T- no, honing on what's important to them and what's important for their community as well so it's, it's, it's working well yeah okay well, well uh, congratulations again Dara thank we're, you very much we're great job here appreciate it uh, congratulations Yvonne there's a wonderful day down here there's loads of presentations going on here the new building new management new positions CIY is looking great it is Mick um, 
with the new manager now in place and I'm the assistant manager, Justin Maher, program director and Jordan McCarthy, you've got the community liaison officer and um, we have a great team here now and Angela Kearns who's the admin and funding coordinator um, we've a lot of plans to drive on this place and make it more of a community entity than it already is and um, we're all very happy and working here happily now together. Um, a new team, and relatively a new building and there's great new ideas but you need them because you've gone, your hours are left been extended massively so there's going to be a lot more work involved. There is, there's a lot more work now involved Mick with the, the extended hours up to midnight. There's a lot more coverage needed here and also we need to raise a lot more funds to run the place because it costs a lot of money to run a radio station. So we have to think of new innovative ideas for programming, fundraising and for tapping into more funding streams through training and that kind of thing. Yeah, talking about the training, there was, uh, the, uh, people think of the radio is just like a radio station you tune into it, but you train people as well because those presentations are earlier on. So. That's right, yeah, we train people in media, um, we touch on basic computer skills as well, we're doing a bit of training in that, and um, there's the studios inside, people get good training in that, and those studios are state they are in fairness and students coming down, the TY students coming down, they get training inside there and we train people in all aspects of radio because there's much more, like you say, than just the radio. There's research, there's the fundraising aspects of it, there's just driving on and, and assisting and uh, we want a good team here that all work together and it is a community entity really at the end of the day. You know, uh, really Yvonne, that's fantastic. You have a busy head, uh, year ahead of you? We have a very busy year ahead of us. Well, may I say congratulations again, Yvonne. Thank you very much, Mick. Barbara, you're board manager, manager of CIY. There's a lot of presentations going on here today and there's a new management. Can you give us a brief update of the way, where CIY is now? CRY are certainly um, a community radio that's expanding. Um, the hours of, um, of broadcasting are being um, increased uh, year on year and the group that are there in management most certainly under Dara Parker they're a great team they're doing extremely well they're young and they're vibrant and they're full of enthusiasm it's an absolute wonderful organization because like that it's keeping people in touch with what's happening and that's the main thing and the extended hours again like that are just another another move towards um, expanding what the radio has to offer so it's a wonderful wonderful um, asset to have in our own town. Right, today. today we're here Mick, um, I suppose letting the media and letting the, the community know our new manager is now in situ, Dara Parker, and we're welcoming him th him today. We also have Yvonne Smith welcoming Yvonne. Now they've been here a number of years but they've got new positions so we have Dara as our manager and Yvonne as our assistant manager. We also have Jordan and Justin who have got promotions in their roles as well. So and Angela, it's a good day here in, in CRY. But I suppose the big thing about this Mick is um, what's CRY does for the betterment of our community. It brings, I suppose, our news items, our political items, um, music, and it brings it into people's sitting rooms and into people's homes. So CRY is belonging to the community and is expanding by the day. Anybody is welcome to come and see our facilities here, they're state of the art. I mean, say from, I suppose, such a humble beginning to where we are now today with members of staff and volunteers. Remember, Mick, it wouldn't be where it is today without the volunteers and the people in the wider community working for CRY. Mary, it seems to be more than just a, a, sta a radio station. Today does award ceremonies going on? Award ceremonies, they all do different, they do different courses down here as well. Um, there's lots of things going on in CRY at all times. You have people being trained in me Media so that they can come on and, and run their own shows so like it's it, it's getting bigger all the time um, I, I suppose I'm as I'm chairperson of CRY so that's why I'm here today and I suppose it's my job we come in every few months and meet at board meetings it's continuous a lot of work goes on and I suppose behind the scenes as well as work that everybody can see but I suppose for me as chairperson I never thought or you know and I'm honoured to be here today in the state of the art facility that we have with the calibre of the staff that we have here the likes of Dara Parker the likes of Yvonne and the rest of the team CRY wouldn't be what it is without the staff so, and the volunteers. So it works both ways CRY so is it great for the town and great the for the town marvellous for the town like what other town around the area has a local radio station and a local radio station that's as big and as good as CRY, not many. So it's great for the old town and for the people in the wider community, East Cork area, Mick. So I mean to say, we're going into your homes every day, longer hours, 
people working for the betterment of the town working as a community and we can't forget our folks across the river in West Waterford as West well. Waterford of course we can't forget <laughs> West Waterford I can't forget West Waterford anyway when I'm married into West Waterford but besides that over in West Waterford as well all working together for the wider community so it's a great day here today Mick uh, Jordan uh, McCarthy congratulations on your new uh, post down here Thank you very okay, much. Okay, community liaison officer. That's the title, yeah, okay. thanks very much. No, I'm thrilled to be a part of CRY's um, management committee here. Um, it's great times, I think, in CRY. As you can see, we have fantastic facilities here at Nagel House. And um, yeah, I'm community liaison officer, Dara's manager, Yvonne is vice um, assistant manager, and then you Angela and admin, and you've got Justin, who's our programs assistant then. So um, that's the team at the moment. Yeah, there's lots of work going on here. It's, it's great to be part of it. I love it down here. And, um, you know, it's exciting times for CRY as well, I think. Yeah, you've, you've a new team, uh, new premises, uh, so lots of new, new ideas. Absolutely, so we've expanded our schedule recently from back to 8am to midnight every day, you know, so that's Monday to Sunday, so that's uh, 16 hours of live broadcasts each day. Um, we hope to expand it again further in the not too distant future. And there's a wide variety of programmes as well. New voices on here as well, which is a big part of my role here at the station, training up new volunteers. And um, I guess coming up with new ideas, new fundraising drives, and um, yeah, just I suppose thinking of ways to promote CRY to the wider community. Uh, longer hours, it's got my, the programs are more more diverse. Uh, yeah. We've noticed uh, just from what, what I've been listening to uh, uh, recently, Darren, your sports department is after getting really big, down here. The sports shows are going well, yeah, and again, it's great to be part of that as well. I, I do the Sunday shows, Barry Drake does the Friday evening show, and of course we got the GA this week show, Michael O'Brien as well. We cover a lot of um, local sporting events live, the GA season are kicking off now as well, so Owen Coyne, Mickey Welsh and Michael O'Brien, uh, Mick Sheen, I'm sure we'll all be involved in that, and we have top class uh, Gaelic games coverage throughout the summer to look forward to. But while, while those shows are on, you're getting in live reports as well from abroad. You can tell what, what's happening in international soccer yeah. or the Premiership or the tennis or whatever. Or the snooker playing all, all in one. Yeah, we've lots yeah. of um, contributors to, to the sports programmes. Um, you know, Will Downing, um, Chris Cooney from the All Snooker Club, the various PROs, um, such as Will Verney from the All Soccer Club, Rich Tyre from the Rugby Club. They all work with us and uh, send us on press releases and they're, they're very willing um, when we give them a call to um, give us the latest news from their, from their clubs or sports. And as you said, we get international news as well as local. And of course, it's not just a radio station. You're going across the whole platform of all the social media as well. We are, yeah. We do have a big um, following on Facebook. I know we've, we've toyed with the idea of video now as well and uh, documentaries. So I guess, yeah, CRI is everywhere nowadays. Our timetable is in these crop journals. So I suppose that's the, the idea to be in people's mind as, as, as often as you can. Uh, you've, uh, it looks like you've a very busy schedule for this year ahead. Yeah, we do lots happening. There's a lot of upcoming documentaries now. Uh, this month I'm working on one myself as well. Um, we've also got a sponsored walk coming up over the summer. Um, we'll have the Team of Steel Challenge hopefully again. This year we ran that for the first time last year. It was a success and we'll be looking to build on that. Apparently there's going to be another Legends Disco as well in, in 2016. And uh, we've got the CRY Golf Classic returning this year as well after a short break from last year. That was a great success in 2014, so we're looking forward to that. Are you doing more uh, 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 higher quality broad outside broadcasts because you've got a new uh, bro uh, uh, outside broadcast unit? Yeah, the new outside broadcast unit has been a huge benef benefit for us uh, so far. I mean, it allows us to go to the various matches or you know um, charity events in the area or open open days in the schools things like that it's um it's really great to have the outside broadcast unit and we've been out and about with it quite a bit now um in recent months but again that's down to i suppose the support of the public and the grants and that we got from Cork county council and sponsorship as well and that has been a big addition to the station to be seen it's a presence for us out in the street to be seen with that van it looks it looks really good and yeah it's, it's allowed us to cover local events in the area which has been fantastic i think so your listenership is growing the whole time, obviously. It absolutely is. Yeah, I mean, back in 2012, we did a survey that showed we had 12,500 listeners per week. Now, since then, we've got the new schedule, um, longer hours, new station, the OB unit. So I think that has massively increased, I would say. So we're looking forward to doing that survey this year. And the new team. Congratulations again, Jordan. Thanks very much, Mick.